In this box, we've got the brand new to market robotic mower A1. I'm very interested to get this out of the box and set it up because it has one advantage over all other wire-free robot mowers that I've seen. This product is made by Dreamy and has all the standard features that you'd expect in a robot mower in this category. U-shaped path planning, adjustable height from nearly three inches down to just over one inch, zone management, and the wireless and antenna-free setup. How is this accomplished? It's all because the system uses advanced LiDAR system on the front of the mower to make navigation contained to the robot itself. It uses that LiDAR to create a 3D map of your lawn and then navigate based on that. If we take a look at the underside of the mower, we can see it has two large drive wheels in the back, two caster wheels up front, and then a single cutting disc with three blades. Because this robot mower's navigation is completely self-contained, we don't need any separate antennas. Setup of this mower is very easy. We place the charging station, plug it in, screw the charging station down to the ground with the provided screws, tighten them up, Place the mower in the charging station. Once you hit the charging contacts, the mower will power up itself. And you can access the controls by pressing the stop button and it has a very nice control and screen system underneath the lid. Once we've got it charging, you can download the app. There's a QR code on the quick start guide. Then you set a pin for the mower and you connect the mower to your mobile device via Bluetooth so you can control and update the settings in addition to connecting it to your wireless network. Once that is complete, you're ready to start building the map. So it'll automatically back off the charging station as shown here and calibrate its LiDAR system. After that is complete, you're ready to go and you need to control the mower around the perimeter of your lawn or cutting area. Here's a screenshot of what the app looks like. All you have to do is start creating your map and that will bring up a control where you can manually control the robot via your mobile device as I'm doing here and go around the edge of your cutting area. Here's a screenshot of what that looks like. It's a one thumb control on the left side there. You've got a virtual toggle that you can use to drive around the bot. Once you return the bot to the start point, you will get a prompt on the app to close the area. Once you accept that, then you can save the map. If you have any flower beds or permanent obstacles within the cutting area, you're going to want to create what's called a no-go zone. It's very simple in the app. You drive the bot up to the boundary of it, start the creation of your no-go zone, continue around the perimeter, and return to the starting point, accept the no-go zone, and it will create the red zone as shown on the screen capture. After this setup is complete, you can take a seat and tell the bot to start mowing. The mower will exit its charging station, do its calibration dance, start cutting your grass. Now I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy watching this mower cut the grass. I do have to interject here and talk about the U-shaped cutting path. This is a great example of that. You can see it continues on a nice straight line, gets to the end of it, turns around, and comes back at another straight line. You can control the direction of this cutting tube within the app, so you can 
go 90 degrees or any direction you would please uh, with each mowing. The LiDAR system also does an excellent job of recognizing and navigating around obstacles in the yard. As you can see here with this little demonstration of things the children left in the yard. Initial thoughts on the Robotic Mower A1. First setup was incredibly easy. This is the easiest robotic mower I've ever set up. No RTK to deal with. That LiDAR system is really cool. It's a technological advancement uh, and makes setup of this thing really easy. And it's amazing how good it's navigating with that technology. So that is a very big plus for this mower. We could also see in the nice afternoon sun, it's delivering a pretty good quality of cut with straight lines. Good job there. If you're considering this mower, recognize that it's designed for half acre cutting or less. The other thing is the drive system is not suited for severe slopes or real bumpy lawns. You need a relatively flat manicured lawn like I have here for it to do well. The front wheels aren't driven. And so they can get caught in bumps and shift the front end of the mower around a bit. But if you've got a nice, flat, smooth lawn, you won't have any problems with this. And this thing is a dream to set up. I have to thank the people over at Dreamy for supplying this mower. Support like this really allows me to keep you viewers updated on the latest technology that's hitting the market. The best way to get updates on this mower and everything else I have going on on the channel is to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Adios.